This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. I'm Amy Grisak. I'm a garden writer in Great Falls, Montana. And today we're at one of our community gardens, so I can show you some different op options that people use as mulch. Mulch is the magic ingredient in most gardens throughout the country because it helps suppress weeds and also keeps in moisture levels. And with some of the hot, dry summers parts of the country have been experiencing, it is a valuable addition to your garden. And it's one way that we can get corn to grow like this in Montana, as well as everything else growing in our very, very short season. One of the easiest and cheapest ways to mulch is to utilize grass clippings. Now, when you're using grass clippings, you do have to be very careful. You don't want to use them from a lawn that's recently been treated with herbicides, pesticides, or or other chemicals. So you want to wait conservatively at least three cuttings before you use them on your garden. Some people even wait more just to be safe because if it's still in the grass, you put it on your plants, all your plants are going to die. So kind of counterproductive, but very simple to use. You don't want to put grass on too thickly because it creates a barrier that moisture can't get through. So put it down maybe a half an inch at a time and it really it's nice because it breaks down well. And another thing you can do when you're use, utilizing grass is to put down newspaper, about six, seven, eight layers of newspaper, and then put down your thin layer of grass mulch and that'll help suppress the weeds. It allows water to come through and yet by the end of the season it breaks down. So it's a really nice weed barrier and helps keep that moisture in. So you just put the grass around your plants and spread it out and that's it. Very, very simple. Like the grass clippings, the straw is fantastic to use too. This lady did a great thing. Love the raised beds and I also love how she utilized the straw in between everything. She put down newspaper and then she has about three or four inches of straw on top of this, which is great. She eliminates a good hunk of the weeds. Any that are here pull out really easy and it really keeps the moisture in. So straw is a great way to go. You can start with three inches and in areas where you really don't weeds to, want weeds to grow or you really want to protect that soil, you can put four, five, six inches easy and it's going to do really great things for your garden. And this is where we are trying out utilizing bark chips as a mulch. These are kind of on the small side. You don't want the big chunky clunky ones because they don't break down as well. But we use these to mulch our potatoes and we're going to leave the mulch in place, the bark mulch, in place throughout the winter and into next spring. Now the thing when you're using wood is you don't want to mix it into the soil because it will actually rob nitrogen out of the soil as it attempts to break down. But if you just use it on top and plant through it, then it helps keep that soil moist while it's creating a compost, while it's breaking down on the top and it really does wonders to keep this ground cooler, keep that moisture in, and really does improve the soil after a number of years. So bark, bulk, bark mulch or wood chips are a really good way to go too. And finally, even though this isn't a natural organic that'll break down in the soil way to go, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the red mulch. I love what these people are doing. They're using the red mulch on their tomatoes. They have a drip line that waters each individual plant, so it's really water efficient. And this red mulch actually works very well to reflect the red light waves that the tomato plants utilize. So they're using the absolute best, really does increase production. Plus it helps suppress weeds and helps keep that moisture in. That's so, so important. So for tomatoes, peppers, squash, that type of thing, red mulch is a really good way to go as long as you're able to get the water underneath it to that plant. So wanted to give you a few ideas on different ways you can mulch. It's very useful, very beneficial for just about every application throughout the country and really easy and a good way to really improve your garden.